Hello and welcome to How Do I Homeschool? My name is Rebecca Devitt. I'm the author of Why Not Homeschool? And today we're going to be talking about how to homeschool or how to start homeschooling. One step that a lot of parents miss out on doing when they start homeschooling is de-schooling their child. So de-schooling is a period of, um, it usually depends on how many years the child has been in an institution. Usually we say you should de-school for one month per year that they've um, been in that institution for. So de-schooling is when you just sit down and you have fun and the children let down their hair and you relax for a period of time before you launch into formal learning. If you launch into firm, formal learning, it can be quite stressful for you and the child and can lead to, uh, can be a really bad start to homeschooling. So I really recommend that if you do anything in um, your de-schooling period that it's just uh, fun. It uh, can be educational fun, but certainly don't push them to be learning. You want to get them uh, to be really good friends with you by the time that you start um, educating them. Another really important thing to do uh, before you just launch into a curriculum is to choose your educational style. So if you choose a style that's not compatible with you or your family or your child, you could be um, yeah, you could find it gives you a little bit of a headache and um, yeah, if you'd just done a little bit of research beforehand, maybe you could avoid it. So I really encourage you to look into different homeschooling method methods. I've got a, um, an article on different ways you can homeschool and, and another video as well. Um, yeah, so definitely look at that. Um, I would encourage you to look into specifically classical, the classical Christian homeschooling method and the... Uh, Charlotte Mason homeschooling method. Both are hugely popular, especially among Christian homeschooling families. Um, there's also the Waldorf and the Montessori approach. Um, and in Australia, a lot of people love um, the idea of unschooling, which, um, yeah, you can take elements. Of course, you can do your very own eclectic homeschool, which a lot of parents do, and that works for them too. I'd also really encourage you to look into some free options as well as some paid options. Um, while it usually holds true that paid options are better, um, and I would probably say that is true, um, there's actually some really amazing Christian, uh, free Christian options out there for curricula. Um, probably the best one I would recommend is Easy Peasy All in One, um, written by a lady who wanted to make homeschooling affordable, so she uses lots of different resources from all over the internet. So I'd encourage you to look into that one. Um, if I were to homeschool tomorrow, I'd probably look into one of the classical um, curricula, um, like Classical Conversations, uh, Veritas Press, Memoria Press. Um, there's also simply Charlotte Mason, which is the Charlotte Mason option, and Ambleside Online, which is the free Charlotte Mason method. But um, if you look on my website, I've got uh, links to all of those articles on that, so you can have a look at that. Some parents might want to homeschool without any schedule or routine at all. Um, this is generally called unschooling, but a lot of parents will find that a schedule or a routine is really comforting for them. So check out how to do that. There's lots of um, advice online if you Google a schedule or a routine. Um, and just see what you want to be putting in your routine, uh, the subjects that you want your children to be doing. Um, Perhaps if that's based on a curriculum, put them in um, and then put, put things which are really valuable to you that you like. So for instance, if you are into sports, maybe table tennis or running or something, you could put in a spot uh, which would allow you to do that at a certain period. Uh, the great thing about homeschooling and the reason a lot of people do homeschool is because it does offer so much more flexibility than um, a traditional or modern day school would. When you're looking at your curriculum, another thing is to consider is how long you want your children to be looking at a screen for. Um, I, I personally think there's a lot of uh, negative things that can result from making a kid look at a screen all day long. Um, just the temptation to go to maybe websites they shouldn't be going to, um, that sort of thing. Uh, so for that reason, I would um, probably prefer a curriculum that is more paper-based than online-based. One of the great things about having a curriculum that is at least partially or fully um, online is that everything is recorded and that means you have 
something to show to um, the colleges when you eventually um, set your children up there if, if that's what you're going to do. Um, but you have a transcript you can you can show to the authorities if um, you, you need to if that's um, um, yeah what you need to look at. Another thing that it's really important to look at when you're just beginning to homeschool is the regulations in your state. So every state has different regulations. Some are really strict and others are um, really lax. There doesn't seem to be much of a correlation between having a strict or lax and, and what the students' uh, test scores are. So yeah, so that's an interesting thing to consider, but um, yeah, just make sure you're complying with that in your state. One of the biggest questions surrounding homeschooling these days is will your child be socialised if you homeschool them? And it is for that reason that we get, um, yeah, we, we try to encourage new homeschooling families to get themselves involved in a homeschooling group so that they are learning the social norms um, so they're not going to go out eventually when they uh, graduate from their homeschool and be completely shell-shocked. Um, they'll have some idea and they'll have friends um, I have seen some families, it's a bit sad, where um, their parents isolated them so much and they really held that um, against their parents um, and hated their homeschooling experience as a result. So that was, that was really sad for me to hear about because I loved homeschooling and we went to two or three, three or four different social things a week um, and we often had friends coming to visit us and popping in and that sort of thing. So it makes me really sad when I hear that people aren't, yeah, I guess homeschoolers aren't getting that experience. So make sure you join a homeschooling group. Thanks for listening. I hope you've learned how to homeschool or how to get started with homeschooling. Um, if you've liked this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you've loved it, hit the bell button. It will let you know uh, when I put out a new video and perhaps I'll talk to you next time.